Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2018 on an 18 plate, uh, the legendary Toyota Hilux 2.4 diesel single cab pickup. Uh, this is a one keeper from new vehicle with 25,000 miles on the clock in the grey metallic uh, in pretty good all round condition, I've got to say. Uh, you know what it's like with the single cabs, they've either been worked to death or they haven't. Uh, this one appears to have had a fairly easy life. There's a couple of minor cosmetics I'll point out to you as we go around, um, but I think you'll get an idea that it's, um, it's a nice truck to be fair. So we're just going to start up here, up there on the roof. I have photographed the roof as well, but as you can see, no damage to it, all very straight and tidy. Coming down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is in good condition with no cracks, stone chips, or certainly nothing that we need to worry about when it comes to MOT time, and certainly nothing that I can pinpoint out as being a major drama. Down onto your bonnet, the bonnet is in good overall condition with no uh, excessive stone chipping uh, or anything along those lines. This vehicle has just come back from our detailer, so it's got a lovely gleam to it, as you can probably see by the reflection of the sky on the, on the bonnet there. But uh, yeah, overall, really nice, tidy condition. Coming down to your passenger headlight unit, that's in good order as well. Your passenger side front bumper corner, again, that's in good condition with no scuffing. If I get down low and just look down the side profile of the vehicle, there are no major dents or dings. In fact, there's no real, fact, there are no dents or dings. Oh, sorry, the phone's just gone and cut the video off, but there are no dents or dings to point out to you on this side of the vehicle, really nice and tidy. Coming round to the rest of the front of the vehicle, your front grills, upper and lower, those are in good condition as well. Your driver's side headlamp unit, that's in good order as well. The driver's side front bumper corner, that's in good order as well. Again, getting down low, looking down the side profile of the truck from this angle, no dents or dings to point out to you, very straight and tidy. Right, we do it panel by panel and we do we point out warts and all. So driver's side front wing, that's all in good order. Your driver's side steel wheel has some small amounts of corrosion on the steel wheel. Uh, the tire is a Yokohama Geolander all-terrain tire. Those are four brand new tires that I've just fitted to this vehicle. Okay, the tires that it came in on, two of them needed replacing, two of them didn't, but they weren't great anyway. So it's best just to get four brand new matching tires so we've gone with the Yokohama Geolander all terrain on them for you okay um, arches all pretty clean and tidy to be fair and as I say steel wheels elements of corrosion on them but nothing major driver's side mirror unit the casing and the mirror itself is in good order it's nice and secure it's not loose or anything driver's side door glass that's in good order as well driver's side door itself that's in good order we have, let's just check your alignment to the tub. The alignment is all nice. Door edges, not in bad condition. There's a couple, we haven't gone around it with a touch-up stick yet, this vehicle. So, you know, if you're being really fussy, there's a couple of minor little chips just on the edges, but we will get a uh, Toyota touch-up stick ordered up and just go around it and sort those out for you. Door lock's in good order. Behind your door lock, it's not scratched. Uh, we've got a little touch-in to do there as well couple of minor bits but nothing major and then if I just get down low look at your sills the sills are in good condition look at your tub so the front cab to tub that all aligns up nicely as you would expect we have a little touching that's required there I've just noticed the most minor of little 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 things there nothing major but there is something there okay but as you can see by the paintwork it gleams it's in nice condition there's no major dramas on it we've got a couple of just really minor little marks there if you get up close you'll see them but as you can see from a you know a viewpoint now of about three four meters away it's in pretty clean tidy condition i have just noticed a little ding actually little one there just about to see it potentially not that's what i'm here for but 
there is something there. Driver side rear steel wheel. Again, the steel wheel has elements of corrosion on it. Uh, the tyre, again, brand new Yokohama Geolander tyre, okay? Um, steel wheels, they are the bane of my life. Um, everything we get in with a steel wheel has elements of corrosion on it. Right, looking down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle. Hopefully you can see it's in good condition. Your rear light unit on this side, again, in good order, no damage. Rear bumper, no scuffing, no dents. Aligns up nicely to the tub, all looking good. Round to the back end of the vehicle. So, again, for the rear tailgate, pretty good order actually, no real damage on it. Uh, tow bar, height adjustable tow bar, or whatever you call it, it's not height. Well, it is height adjustable, but it's got the whatever you need for whatever trailers, single electrics. Rear bumper, have a look at the plastics on the top of it. They're not chewed up to pieces or anything like that. Rear bumper itself, as you can see, in good order. Now, it has just been caught slightly on the corner there. That is just primer there. It just needs a touch up on it. We will get that sorted out on it for you. These are the handles to open up your tailgate. Little element of, obviously it's just been caught on the edge there and a little bit there again. Probably smart repair stuff. We'll get, you can always get that sorted out on it for you. And then looking at the tub itself, excuse, I've just literally thrown the, the floor mat and the price board in here, but, uh, and there's a spare number plate there, but hopefully you can see by the tub liner that it's in good condition with no excessive abuse. Your, let's see if I can zoom in, the bar on the back of the vehicle is present and correct with no major damage to it either. There are elements of marks on there, but nothing major. And then let's just go back to normal zoom. High level brake lights, all good. Rear light unit this side, all good with no damage. Just that little mark, as I've already noted to you there, just a little mark on the rear bumper there, but nothing major. And then just looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle, again, pretty straight and tidy. Rear tub this side, I can see a little touch up required there. Now, there is a scratch on this side, unfortunately, here. Okay, it has gone through the lacquer, it's through to the primer. Um, we will touch it up and let's review it after I've touched it up, see what we can uh, see what we think then. But being really, really fussy, there's a little bit of a minor little ding there, nothing major, but there is something going on there as well. Fuel flap is released from inside. Again, another little touching required there, there and there. Uh, again, steel wheel is has elements of corrosion on it. Uh, but another brand new Yokohama tyre. Rear mud flaps on the back as well, just in case you missed that. It's about to bucket it down with rain. Passenger door handles all good. Alignment on the doors, the tub, etc. That's all looking as it should do. Getting down low, look at your sills. Sills are in good condition as well. And then the passenger side front door, this side, that's all looking clean and tidy mirror unit this side case and the mirrors themselves are good and then your driver's oh sorry passenger side front wing again that's in nice condition with no damage steel wheel again elements of corrosion on it brand new tire mind you and then let's just open up the passenger side so your passenger side front door your front door card is in good condition the entry sills and plastics, not in bad condition at all on this side. The carpet inside, all pretty good. Glove boxes, we have a lower there with a book pack in it and an upper here as well. And then top of the dash, again, airbag this side, but top of the dash all good and let's just have a look at your headlining inside headlining's in good condition your seating your passenger seat trim etc clean and tidy no dodgy stains or rips and then we'll go around to the driver's side in a second
So driver's side, the door card itself, not in bad order either, and no, nothing excessive on there at all. We have electric windows, central locking and electric mirrors. Door shuts, hopefully you can see those. I should have pointed them out on the other side, but they're nice and clean and tidy. Let's just turn the stereo down a second. So entry sills on the driver's side, we have a element of wear here, which is very common on the Toyota. So we can either touch that up for you or what we normally suggest is a bit of heavy duty tape, just helps to protect that side of it as well. Driver's carpet, could probably do, the, it looks worse on the, the bloody iPhone camera, like shows up X-ray vision on dirt. So in real life, check out the photos, doesn't look too bad. iPhone camera, always looks hideous. Pedal rubbers, all good we have bonnet release fuel flap release power heat button and your headlamp levelers are there as well and then driver's seat we have a little bit of a mark here on the driver's seat i think that just needs a little bit of repair doing on it so we can get that sorted the seat itself on the whole though is all pretty good the top of the dash this side that's all good rear view mirror is where it should be sunglasses holder all important sunglasses holder stereo system is a fm am stereo radio with a cd player and bluetooth telephone and bluetooth music you have auxiliary power inputs here heated rear window air conditioning where you want the air blowing to blower fans heat settings air recirculation this is for your four-wheel drive system so it's in high two normally you can move into high four or low four. We have a rear diff lock over here, electronic stability program, another 12 volt power there as well. Six speed manual gearbox. We have an eco mode and a power mode. The cup holders, as you can see, are in clean condition. Looking down the sides of your seats, hopefully you can see no old McDonald's dust, dirt, toenails, whatever hideous stuff you find down the side of seats, all looking clean and tidy down there. Volume, con volume control, search controls, voice controls, uh, and your telephone answering on the left-hand side of your steering wheel. The steering wheel on the whole is in good condition with most of your factory finish still on there. And then we have auto lights, rear fog lights on the inner part and your indicators up and down. And the right-hand stalk is for your wipers. If we fire it up, it's currently telling us it's due a oil service. Um, however, we will get a full service done on it before it goes out the door. So that service will include your oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, and pollen filter. Okay, so that'll be all of your engine filters changed and all good, okay? Has a warning lights and clock on the top there. And you know what, you know, it's in good condition. Um, right, I, I've just put my shoulder out at the weekend, so I'm not gonna open up the bonnet again now with, whilst holding a camera because it's probably a bit of a physical impossibility, but, um, we have photographed it, so check out the photos for under the bonnet, but it's not caked with mud or anything like that. It is clean and tidy under there. Um, you know, it's a single cab Toyota Hilux pickup. There are minor bits of cosmetics, bits of touching in, steel wheels, a little bit ropey. Um, but on the whole, I have to say, it's a pretty good example. Um, it depends on how many you're looking around. But uh, they're a good truck. It's in a good colour. It's got lovely miles on it. Um, so it's got a lot going for it. Now there are 60 to 70 photos of this vehicle on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the center of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Now, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, obviously on our own website, but also Google. We're on Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Instagram. I think that's bad enough, isn't it, really? Uh, thanks for looking at the video. If we can be of any more help, feel free to give us a shout. And uh, hopefully we uh, can get a deal done. A lot of our customers nowadays will actually buy off this video and either arrange for collection or arrange for delivery. So that gives you some idea of the trust. We've not had one turned around yet. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.